Ladies and gentlemen, what's up? Papa Bear Francis Gaming here with another quick tutorial. This time around, we're looking at Streamlabs and Streamlabs alerts, getting them added into OBS Studio. Uh, thank you guys very much for, of course, for uh, reaching out to me in stream and asking for, uh, you know, some additional content in regards to these tutorials. So thank you very much. Uh, if you guys don't know already, I do stream every Friday through Tuesday on Twitch, generally starting around 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time and about 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time in the evening. Uh, so if you guys have any questions or concerns, definitely feel free to hit me up there as well as there is a link to dis our Discord community in the description of the video down below. Well, moving on, let's take a quick look here. So right now, ladies and gentlemen, you can see we have Streamlabs up. We're at streamlabs.com. This is a streaming platform as well uh, a streaming platform for uh, software to where you can actually bring your stream directly to twitch facebook gaming uh or even for instance youtube now that being said they do have their own streaming software being streamlabs obs a lot of people do use it because everything is combined very easy to use very easy to incorporate everything into one and not have to look elsewhere that being said, a lot of people do still prefer to use OBS Studio because OBS Studio allows a lot of the different advanced features and plugins that you can only get for OBS Studio. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to log in here. Uh, make sure, of course, when you do log in, if it's your first time, it will have you log in using either, of course, YouTube, Twitch, or Facebook Gaming, just so that you can authorize it and it can get that data and statistics it needs in order to bring your alerts to life. Now, once you are logged in, going to go to the alert box now on the alert box specifically this is where we're going to go to create all of our awesome goodness and fun for this tutorial so as you can see we already have one right down here that we are messing around with we're going to go ahead and delete this because we're going to do it from scratch now Streamlabs have changed a little bit in reference to how their alerts work so we're going to do this quick clean and easy so you guys know exactly what to do to move forward so from here we're going to go ahead to add alert variation we're going to name it we're going to go ahead and call this one youtube just because of course it's for our test now for the specific alert we're going to go ahead and choose donation just because this is what we need obviously you would choose whichever one you want merch twitch follow twitch sub twitch host anything along that list in this case donation we're going to go ahead and click save now with having this saved we are going to go ahead and go right down here to this link this link right here at the bottom is the one that specified youtube this is the one we just created as it is labeled this one is set to default for all the alert variations. So when you send that test, you're getting your running man. Your running zombie man with the donation. Thank you, John, who donated $92. Thank you very much. So with, of course, that being said, this little preview window is where you will see any and all of your test alerts when you send a test. They now no longer show directly in OBS until, of course, you get a live, real action that takes place so from here we're going to go ahead and we're actually going to work on customizing it so we're going to go ahead and go down here where these plus icons are on both of these right down here on the screen for the image and the sound we're going to go ahead and go here you will need to drag and drop and upload an image if you do not already have one i already have some general ones that we're going to use so in this case we're going to use the a gif that we have loaded uh, then, of course, we're going to go down here to the default sound, and we're going to snag this sound from George Chucky. Oh, my. Oh, my, indeed, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to have that one selected. Now, once this is done, you're also going to want to choose your layout, whether you want the text below, on top, or to the right of your image. Now, I personally always have it below just because I think it makes it a little bit better, clearer, and brings the image into focus for everyone. So you're going to save those settings. Once those settings are saved, you can go ahead and send another test. Oh my. Now, once this test alert has been sent, we can then go ahead and go up here to the copy URL option right here. It says add alert box to your stream exactly as it states. So you can either copy the URL, which when you do that, it will automatically select every alert that you have set up. So it selects all of these into one which is something that you can do. However, I might recommend going to the advanced, making it a little bit more creative for your content. Now, if you're in the advanced screen here, you can deselect all and select the only the specific alert you would like. Therefore, you can get a different URL 
for each one of the alerts you have if you're placing them in different corners or sections of your actual stream so that they only go off in that specific location so that you have full control of that content. Or if you don't care, go ahead and select them all, copy the URL, place it in one simple location, done. Very, very simple. Now, once you have copied this URL, in this case, we're gonna do the donations one here. We're gonna copy it. We're then gonna go ahead and minimize this. Go to OBS. Now in OBS, we're gonna go ahead and move over to a different scene real quick. We're gonna go to test right here. We already have an alert window here. We're gonna go ahead and remove this one. So right here, when you're in your live section, you're gonna go to your source. You're going to right click, you're going to add, you're going to add a browser source. Now here you can go ahead and name this whatever you want. Here we're going to go ahead and name it alert just so that we have that ready to go. Once that's done, you're going to copy and paste that URL right there. Position it wherever you want. And then of course that is it ladies and gentlemen. It's done. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that quick tutorial for you. Uh, keep in mind, if you guys liked it, let me know in the comments below. Leave a thumbs up if it is good for you. Uh, if you guys want to see more content up and coming, make sure you also click that like and subscribe button so you know when, of course, new content becomes available. Don't forget to click that bell. But thank you guys for uh, hanging out and tuning in. You guys hopefully have yourself a, a great evening. I'll see you guys next time.